What's happening, beautiful people? My name is Dirty Mike, and welcome to the top five legend midfielders in FIFA Ultimate Team. And if you guys could beat up that like button, if we could smash 700, 800, 900 likes, that would be fantastic. And drop a comment right now. Let me know who's in your top five. Which players did I leave out? I'm always open for feedback and suggestions. And when I use the word overpowered, I base that on how the player performs. Not on their rating, not on their price. And that's just my perspective. I know that I get some comments about this in a lot of different videos. So I wanted to address it. And if you guys need Ultimate Team Coins, UT Coins for you down below in the description. Use the code MICHS09, M-I-C-H-S-0-9 in order to get digital 5% off on every single purchase. To kickstart the countdown at number five, we've got the German, Matthias. And he's one of the more expensive legends. About two and a half million coins, kind of rare. And I like using him as a center mid or a cam as opposed to that default CDM role. And he's one of the best all-around players in FIFA in terms of statistics. I have him at number five because he's not that strong. He's not that big. And the three-star skill moves bother me a little bit, but he's still an absolute monster of a player. He's easy to use and abuse with. At number four, we got the Portuguese legend, Rui Costa. Four-star weak foot, four-star skill moves. And it's like the ball sticks to his foot. He just can't get rid of it. He's magical. And he's really easy to use, and he has good awareness as well as strength on the ball, especially for a cam. I think he has an 82, maybe an 85 for strength. He's not going to get moved around. And those 50-50s, he seems to end up on the correct end of those more often than not. At the midway point, we've got Hadji, 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 the Romanian. Five-star weak foot, four-star skill moves. He's premium in quality. He's got a shot from heaven. He's equal-footed. The only issue is he's kind of difficult to link up. You almost have to have legends in your starting 11 to make this work. But boy, you will not be disappointed. At the runner-up position, we've got the Frenchman Vieira. Oh my goodness, does he stop attacks with such grace. He's six foot three, three-star weak foot, three-star skill moves. And I like to introduce him as the brick wall. Once it gets to Vieira, everything's stopping. Uh, if you use him as a CDM, I think he's arguably the best center defensive midfielder in FIFA 14. Whether it's headers, whether you need a big tackle, or even the ball control that he has it makes it so easy to move around with him after you've won possession and you can make some things happen. Topping the charts, we've got the stat room stuffer, a hullet. Woo! And he is expensive. Nearly 4 million coins, but he's 6 foot 3, 4 star weak foot, 4 star skill moves. And I consider this guy a top tier player. And when I'm looking at my top tier, this is the best of the best. And there's only 4 or 5 players that are really in there. We're looking at Ronaldo, Ibra, Hullet, and I even put Cresbo in my top tier where they just dominate everything. And if you can afford him, he will make your squad better regardless if you use him as a CDM, a center mid, a cam, a center forward, a striker. It really doesn't matter. Hullet can play anywhere on the pitch and improve your overall team dynamic. I promise you, I promise you, Dirty Mike stamp of approval. But if you guys enjoyed the video, drop a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Twitter at MikeSanonUSA, and I have a lot more content come for you ASAP, ASAP.